Oh, well, good morning. Gotta keep my hood up because it's just way too windy around here. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. Today I'm at Great Yarmouth Seafront and I'm gonna take you for a tour down the Golden Mile. The sun is out even though it's freezing cold. Let's go and have a look. This is Great Yarmouth. So before we head out, I'll just show you this. I've been staying at the Premier Inn Seafront Hotel in Great Yama. Of course, I didn't get a sea view. With a 50-50% chance of getting a sea view, I got the road view. It's a very quiet morning. Yeah, it was nice though. Big screen TV. I rinsed the tea and coffee supplies. Left sand everywhere. All right, I'm out in the open. It's very early in the morning, what is it, like 8? God help us. Oh, that old train in there. Right, so hopefully the wind dies down a bit, so otherwise you're not going to hear anything I say. Maybe that'll be a good thing. So, the Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach is currently undergoing its winter maintenance, and it should be opening soon, as it's March now. It looks really good, and it's actually got the second oldest roller coaster in the country. And the gates are open. I won't go in there in case they take me down. I would not want to go on that in these winds. That roller coaster was built in 1932, so it's nearly 100 years old. And I read it's actually got a guy that sits on the roller coaster and has to manually break it, which is just insane. Imagine sitting on a roller coaster all day as a job. Sounds like a dream. Look at him in the back. He's a big boy. That carousel doesn't look like much cop at the moment, there's only one horse on it. They must be being repainted or something, or redistributed. I'm taking you down the Golden Mile now, it starts at the Pleasure Beach I think, we must do, because back that way there's not that much. When you look past the Premier Inn, it doesn't look like there's much down there. I mean, we'll have a look, we'll have a look, but Great Yarmouth has been a popular holiday destination for centuries, and apparently it's fallen off a bit as of late, because of all the hipster seasides. All the trendy ones taking over, but that's exactly why I want to have a look around today to see what it's like. Okay, so this is very troubling. I was last here years ago, but I swear there used to be a big log flume here. So it looks like well, it's just an empty space now, that is so sad. Anyone know if there's going to be plans to put someone else there? Please comment down below. I know it's early, but look how empty it is down here. This is so freaky. Scared. In the summer, I bet you would not be able to get a space on this seafront. We've got some dinosaurs there wobbling in the wind. That T Rex is looking right at me. Oh. See, so yeah, when these attractions are open, it's probably a really nice place to come if there's not get out force winds. We are experiencing off season here, it's amazing. I love this sort of thing. It's so early. I've got the whole place to myself, basically. These donut and ice cream characters have seen better days. That donut man's on his ass. Sarah's Tea Rooms is over the back there. I've heard very good things. That was one of the top rated cafes I was looking at. And you can get down to the beach down there. I don't want to do that right now. You can see the waves rising up. Well, we've got this very cool model village. Railway and gardens. Hello. It looks really cool in there. I like the clown dancing. Oh, this whole winter gardens looks cool. Don't know if this is ever open. It doesn't look like it has been in a while. The winter gardens have not been open to the public since 2008. What's in there now? So this is the first of the piers here, Wellington Pier. It's got a bowling alley on the end, of course. That's my favourite. Once got a high score of 12 on that. Yes, yeah, your usual offering of arcade games, garish music. 
or insert a coin. Doggies. Yeah, a huge bowling rink there. Rink, sorry, not rink. What do you call it? Alley, that's it. I'm liking these beach huts. We've got a sea life centre too. An alarm going off in there. Those pingu bins, you see them everywhere. And every seaside town has got to have a classic big wheel. That looks really, looks impressive. Look at the gondola shaking. My knees are going just looking at it. Guys, if you're from Great Yarmouth, please leave a comment down below and let me know anything I've missed out today. So even though I try and cover as much as possible in the short time I'm at these places, I always miss some great stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Even if I haven't missed anything and you're just a local, please just say hello. I'll try and reply to all the comments. As always with these seaside towns, there are quite a few boarded up buildings too. Look at that, it's got such character. So you've got this stretch here of restaurants and pubs and amusements. This is when you're getting into the thick of the Golden Mile. Yeah, as I said, plenty of places to get a beer. This is the Seafront's number one karaoke and disco bar. Live music over until 2am, I'll be so on that if I went out ever. Plenty of places for car parking. But as I said, if you come here on a day in season, you'll be banging. Guys, if you're watching this and you haven't seen me before, please do consider subscribing to the channel because that would help me out massively. So this is the Empire. Live music, street food and craft beer. See, that would be amazing on a day like today. Maybe when it's not three degrees. God, they really like their adventure girlfriend here, don't they? There's Captain Sparrow up there. Speaking of grand buildings, this is the Yarmouth Hippodrome. And the Hippodrome Circus it is one of the few permanent circuses in the UK. It opened in the early 1900s. Apparently it's one of the only circuses in the world that has a floor that sinks into a pool. I don't really know what that means. Does anyone know what that means? Please comment down below. They've got another amusement park here, Joyland. Those creatures on top of that are freaky. Look at the deranged dinosaur. I don't know if this is open. Looks like more maintenance going on in there. Oh, it's such a grand old building. It is business at the front. Party at the back. And probably the most significant building of all, the public facilities. That is what we love to see. It's one of my favourite things about visiting some of these towns. Used to it being like thriving and stuff, so when it's not like that and it's kind of like empty and eerie, it's just a whole new experience altogether. And here's the second pier, the Britannia Pier and Theatre. Some big names play at the theatre. Jimmy Carr, Sarah Millican. It's like High Street, again very quiet, nothing open, I could just spend all day exploring here, but I can't. State of it. What about this? Anyone know what this used to be? Please comment down below. Looks like an old theatre. Looks like it hasn't been open in years. And just so you know, there is a proper town centre bit with the McDonald's and KFC and a Weatherspoons we shan't stick around here too long though I just wanted to show you it did exist so I just had breakfast at this place behind me it's called Christopher's it's really good and uh, I had the small breakfast now it's only eight quid so I'd say that is extremely reasonable with a cappuccino as well I don't think you can get a better sandy beach than that though Imagine being down here in the summer. Looks can be deceiving. Looks like it's a really nice day, but I'm not joking, probably the coldest I've been in ages. And I haven't got a bloody coat on, have I? Old Muggins over here. Doesn't check the weather before he travels. Check out those ferocious waves though. 
you could hang 10 on them. get washed away. All right guys, that's my lot. I've got to get back into the car and I'll get the heating on and get the circulation flowing again. Can't feel anything right now, it's so cold. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos from Seaside Town, see the links over there. Otherwise, see you on the next one. Cheers.